Virgo and welcome to your reading. Today I'm going to be taking a look into your past, your current energy and your future and we're going to see what spirit, what the universe would like you to know. So let's jump straight into today's reading. Messages for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. What does Virgo need to know, spirit? Okay, in your past we've got the Eight of Swords. Five of Pentacles, the King of Swords, the Six of Swords. Okay, there's definitely this heavy energy that I'm feeling here in your past. You know, with the Eight of Swords coming out here, I feel as though there's a situation that you couldn't see clearly in. There was something that you felt trapped in a sense. But there is this strong message that you wasn't seeing something. You wasn't seeing a way out. Now, I can see here there's a lot of hard work in the past. And there could have been times where you felt like you didn't know whether it was going to pay off. You didn't know if you should keep putting in this effort, putting in this time. And I see you here. It's like you almost were turning cold because of this. You were shutting off from your emotions. You... Yeah, there was, this was quite a painful time for you. I feel as though I'm getting this message. You didn't want to repeat mistakes from your past with this Six of Swords. There was some situation in your past and when it finished, you told yourself that you were never going to repeat that same mistake. You were going to be a lot more cautious moving forward. And you could have felt like you were slipping into this. You didn't want things to end up the way that they were before. But I can see you here really putting in a lot of time and effort into something. It's like part of you wanted to give up, but you kept going. Let's have a little further look into this, see if we can get a bit more clarification on this situation. Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, okay. There was something about your career path here, what you were doing for your work. You were looking at other options, thinking, what is it that I could do? And there were definitely other options available to you if you wanted to go down a different path. It was you kind of trying to make up your mind about what is it that you would want to do? What are you passionate about? What is going to make you wake up with that drive inside of you to, you know, go and achieve your goals. So you are a very independent person. I can see that here. You don't mind your own company. You enjoy your own company. And yeah, this has brought you a lot of success because you don't rely on others. You get things done and you're not going to wait around for other people to do that for you. You'd just rather go and do it. But this card, this Wheel of Fortune, this is the destiny card, your fate. So there's something going on here that I feel is tied up to this pain. As much as you may have started to lose hope and was wondering if this situation was right for you, whatever it was, it could be tied up to a person, it could be tied up to this work situation that I'm seeing here. But I do get the feeling that this was something that was quite personal to you, something that meant a lot. And whatever this was, you were doubting it. You were losing hope. I can see here that even though this was very difficult, even though this was challenging and it was bringing out these emotions in you, the universe sent you this challenge for a reason. But you wasn't seeing that at this point. We're going to have a look into the current energy, but yeah, you didn't see. But this was actually going to teach you a lot. A lot of valuable lessons that you're going to take forward with you in your life. So this, as much as it seemed like things were starting to fall apart, it's a very significant part in your journey, in your spiritual journey. And something that you had to go through. Now I'm just going to pull some more cards and then we'll move on to present energy. Okay, so we had trust. 
and transformation. Yeah, this situation, it was changing you. You couldn't realise it, but these challenges, it was making you a stronger person. It was making you have to start to trust not only in yourself, but in the universe, in spirit, that things were going to be okay, that it was going to work out eventually. So you may have lost your, your faith for a little while. You may have felt as though you didn't really know what path your life was going down. This was an opportunity for you to not have to have a plan for everything, to be able to just trust that it's going to work out. Whatever is meant for you is out there and it is going to come towards you eventually. Yeah, this is a very powerful chapter in your life that I'm seeing here. Now let's move on to what is going on with you at the moment, Virgo. Messages for Virgo, current energy. Okay, we have the Queen of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the King of Wands. Okay, this is a time for you to really start putting out what it is that you want in your life. If there's something that you feel might be too big or it might be, you know, too far out of reach, start manifesting that. Start believing that it is going to happen. And I promise you, you are going to see results. Now, we have the kin of wands here. So anything that you want, anything that you desire, start believing in it. Start having that faith. Now, I see here that you've let go of a few things. In both of these cards, I can see you like looking out. It's like you've left something behind. You've gone on this new journey, this new chapter in your life. And part of it can be difficult because you've had to say goodbye to things that at one point meant a lot to you. But this is going to bring you a lot of success. Now, with this Eight of Wands, this has happened quite quickly. Your life has changed very quickly. It could even seem like you don't recognise it. You need to hang on to the fact that this is happening for a reason, this Wheel of Fortune. These things that you've let go of, these things that you have walked away from, the things that still matter, they're still going to stay in your life. Anything that is truly meant for you, it's going to stay in your life or it's going to come back. So believe in that. Know that anything that you have turned your back on, that you've walked away from, it was right for you. And of course, I think anyone who lets go of certain times in their life, people, it could literally be anything. It could be a job. You know, it's going to feel difficult. You're going to have that grieving period. But as you move forward, you're going to start to see that following your gut and doing this was definitely the right decision for you. I can see here that there's a lot of success waiting for you. I don't think you realise just how close it is. So keep on going. Answers, animals, and well-being. Okay. I think that it's important for you to focus right now. Focus on your health. Focus on your well-being. Make sure that you are being healthy. Make sure you are getting out in nature. If you have an animal, know that you have that unconditional love. Now, this card comes out when... You know, you could have an animal that is your spirit animal. That animal is there to guide you, to help you, to give you comfort. And yeah, that card doesn't come out very often. So it's very interesting. But I think that there is something in your life that you may feel you never got answers to. And if not, then there's going to be an unexpected communication that you have with someone and something's going to come out. This could either be... Somebody coming towards you and giving you answers and closure in a situation. Or it could possibly be you getting the answers that you need when it comes to what path you need to go down. And this could be in your career or just in, in general of what you want to do with your life next. There's going to be some type of closure that you're getting. So let's move on to your future Virgo.
Okay, we have the Empress, the Tower, the Hanging Man. Well, three major arcanas in a row. The Nine of Wands and the Death card. Okay. There's going to be an ending to some type of situation that doesn't serve you anymore. You could, like I said, you could be feeling at the moment like you don't know what to do. You're going to get the answers you need to be able to move forward. And there's going to be an ending to something in your life. And now this isn't a bad thing. When the death card comes out, it means that you're starting a new chapter, a new journey. And as much as the tower is here, so it means that it's going to be very sudden, unexpected that this happens. You know, you're going to feel like you did not see this coming. I can see here that you are going to start nurturing yourself with this empress being here, taking care of you. For some time, you may have felt like things were up in the air. This hanging man energy, that's not going to be the case anymore. Anything that feels like loose ends, things that haven't been tied up. Yeah, the nine of wands. You're very close to this new beginning. You're not going to see it coming. You're really not. And when it happens, this tower moment, there's going to be a lot of feelings that you have to confront. It's not all going to be easy. It is going to be hard. But this is definitely spirit protecting you, having your back. And you need to trust in that. And I think you will. I can see from your journey so far that you've started to understand the way things work. You've seen it from your past. You've seen it from situations that you've been in. You know, something bad or something unexpected can happen and you can't understand it. And then further down the line, it all clicks and it makes sense. And that's what's going to happen here. We have new beginnings. Something big is changing in your life, Virgo. This is something that you're going to remember, a part of your life that you will never forget. There will be this moment. And when you look back in years to come, you'll realise that's when everything changed for you. Spirit guide. So this could be tied up to this animal that we spoke about. Maybe you'll be getting a new pet. Maybe you may already have a pet, but there's something here about you on this new journey being guided, you're not going to understand it, but you're going to feel like it's right. And that's all that matters. Good luck, okay. Once you take this leap of faith, once you trust that everything is going to work out, good luck is going to just start flowing your way. And it is about taking that jump, it's about making the changes that you need to. Like I said, it's not going to be easy. I can see here that the universe is stepping in, your spirit guides are stepping in, and they're going to be throwing you into something completely new, something out of your comfort zone. Peace. This is going to bring you a lot of peace. You're not going to feel unsettled. You're not going to feel, you know, that questioning of what is right for me. You're going to know that you are on the right path. This is your journey. So yeah, a lot of powerful messages that come out here, Virgo. I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to book a personal reading, then I will link my website below. And yeah, I've currently got a sale on at the moment. So yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye.